Your mother can't be with you anymore. Kids films they may be, but Disney can certainly shock. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 darkest and scariest Disney moments. For this list, we've compiled what we felt are the scariest samples of Disney darkness. They have to be animated moments, so no live action. And they must be pure Disney, so no Pixar. Number 10. Ichabod Crane's encounter with the Headless Horseman, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Ah, uh, Icky, you sly old dog, you. What is this strange power you have over women? Narrated by Bing Crosby, there's an around-the-campfire feeling to this particular tale known as the Legend of Sleepy Hollow. As Ichabod and his trusty tired steed saunter through the forest, it's clear there's danger ahead. The sounds of the night have us all sweating, and when the Headless Horseman arrives, everyone's heart rate hits overdrive. <laughs> then there's also red fire and orange pumpkins, which make us white as a sheet. And finally, Ichabod's unconfirmed death has us abandoning all hope. Ichabod's hat was found, and close beside it, a shattered pumpkin. Number nine. The Ghost of Christmas Future and the Flaming Grave, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Ah, humbug. In this Disney-fied Dickens classic, it's Christmas time and Scrooge won't share. In fact, he's the most tight-fisted son of a duck out there. <laughs> money, money, money. But as he glimpses the future, he sees his own funeral. No one is there and his grave stands open. Aye, no mourners, no friends to bid him farewell. When the angel come devil pushes him aside, hellish flames tickle his tail feathers, and our screens are awash with a dangerous red. Whose lonely grave is this? <gasps> Why yours, Ebenezer, the richest man in the cemetery. A nightmarish message for kids and grown-ups. Oh, oh, Number eight. Judge Claude Frollo bursts into Hellfire, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Beata Maria, you know I am a righteous man. While most people would pull petals off daisies humming, she loves me, she loves me not, Claude Frollo goes crazy and gives us this spine-chilling serenade. I'm not to blame. It is the gypsy girl, the witch who set this flame. As he marches through the church holding and sniffing Esmeralda's shawl, it's gothic and oh so ghostly. This burning desire is turning me to With a blazing fire and a choir of hooded, faceless monks, Frollo's infatuation is one we're sure glad we're not the source of. Be mine or you will burn. Number seven, the devilish Chernabog summons evil spirits, Fantasia. Bald Mountain, according to tradition, is the gathering place of Satan and his followers. The archetype for what a nightmare might look like, Fantasia's final scene is perhaps Disney's debut as a purveyor of darkness. The wispy white demons float into our minds, and they stay there, frightening us forever. It's a testament to how effective this scene really is that the musical score is practically synonymous with fear. Emotional and undoubtedly dark, this is one terrifying night on Bald Mountain. Number 6. The Horned King's Undead Army, The Black Cauldron. Everything is, is, is ready, sire. In this skeletal sequence, the Horned King has death at his beck and call. Now I call on my army of the dead. As the good guys hang helpless, a sacrifice is made and the Black Cauldron pours forth all the darkness it can muster. Arise, my messengers of death. Our time has arrived. 
watched over with red pinprick eyes, and guided by a voice as sinister as Satan's own. The army of the dead is coming. It blurs out our vision and rings in our ears. Only moments away from victory. My greatest triumph. Number five. Ursula's demise, The Little Mermaid. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. Who'd have thought that this sweet sea-bound tale could take such a dark turn? First, a shark chases Ariel. Then the king is turned into a wormy something or other. Your majesty. And finally, Ursula meets her monstrous death. Well, that's just Scare Supreme. As the demon of the deep with a voice to match, she's got a trident in hand and weather on her side. You pitiful, insignificant fool! But when the boat takes her down, we're as wrecked as the ship. So much for true love! <laughs> Number four, Dumbo's drunken hallucinations, Dumbo. What would your mother think of you if she saw you crying like this? The phrase too much too young might have been invented for Dumbo and this ordeal. Well, ain't nothing little water won't cure. Seeing things he know there ain't, our favorite elephant plunges into a dream from which he can't escape. It's black and bright all at the same time, and a recurring nightmare that burns through your eyes. No one likes an elephant in the room. Now imagine there's hundreds of them, and they're pink. Exactly. I am not the type to faint when things are odd or things are quaint, but seeing things you know that ain't can certainly give you an awful fright. What a sight! Chase them away! Chase them away! I'm afraid! Need your aid! Big elephants on parade! Number three, Clayton's horrific end, Tarzan. He could be the missing link. <laughs> or our link to the gorilla. Nobody likes Clayton. He's a posh, pompous, animal poaching pain in the ass. He doesn't understand English. I'll make him understand. If I can teach a parrot to sing God Save the Queen, I can certainly teach this savage a thing or two. But did we see his death coming? It's a dark, stormy night, and our two macho men are fighting it out in the trees. Tarzan's skill keeps him safe, but Clayton is clumsy, and he's hung out to dry, quite literally. As the vine snaps and the dagger falls, we're as shocked as we are satisfied. Wait! Wait, don't! Number two, Lampwick becomes an ass, Pinocchio. I can move. I can talk. <laughs> I can walk. In Pinocchio's quest to become a real boy, he inevitably encounters vice, and then some. A two big monsters with big green eyes. After the tough-talking Lampwick takes one mouthful too many of some bad beer, his transformation begins and Pinocchio's innocence ends. Conscious. Nah, fooey. The ears and tail are bad enough, but as his voice switches to a squeal and his hands into hooves, Disney terrifies us with a frightful few minutes that live long in our memories. Mama! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Look, my hands. My voice. My voice. <laughs> Ah! 
How many men does it take to deliver a message? One. Number one, Scar's betrayal and Mufasa's murder, the Lion King. Mufasa, quick, stampede in the gorge. Simba's down there. Simba. We've reached Disney's darkest hour, and it doesn't come scarier, more dreadful, or more genuinely horrible than Mufasa's death at the hands of his brother. Brother, help me. Long live the king. Until this, Scar had been merely sarcastic, but now he's as evil as they come. Simba, what have you done? Robbing the jungle of its king and leaving Simba absolutely inconsolable. The king is dead. And if it weren't for you, he'd still be alive. That's right, the leader of the pack shall lead no more. This gut-wrenching moment is powerful and painful, no matter how old you are. Run away, Simba. Run. Run away and never return. Kill him. Do you agree with our list? Which Disney scare is your favorite? For more Dark Top Tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? <laughs>